esteemed director of the University of Montenegro, distinguished representatives of European Security and Defense College, esteemed partners uh, from the National University of Public Service in Hungary, ladies and gentlemen. It's my honor to address you on behalf of Cabinet of the President of Montenegro at the University of Montenegro as we inaugurate a significant event, the first educational activity of Euro European Security and Defense College in Montenegro. The ESDC serves as a key institution within the European Union, focusing on education and training in the field of security and defense. Established in 2005, the ESDC's mission is to develop and promote a common European culture of security and defense, providing a strategic level of of education within the framework of the Common Security of Defense Policy, CSDP. The college plays a vital role in strengthening the capacities and knowledge of personnel within EU institutions and member states. Focusing on understanding and applying EU policies, institutions, and procedures in the field of CSDP and common foreign and security uh, policy. Through its educational programs, the ESDC contributes to a better understanding and more effective approach to security and, and uh, defense challenges of European level. The significance of ESDC lies especially in its ability to connect various national educational institutions, military academies, universities, and others, other actors engage in security and defense policy issues within the Union. Additionally, through promoting civil crisis management, management and conflict prevention, ESDC contributes to maintaining peace and stability, not only within the EU borders, but also a global, a global scale. This institution therefore represent a pivotal pillar in building and sustaining a strong, coherent and effective European security and defense strategy. The European Union continuously work on strengthening in cybersecurity capacities and establishing a unified digital market. Through the adoption of the new regulation and directives, the EU strives to create a resilient, secure, and protected digital environment. In this light, Montenegro, through its strategic initiatives and legislation, aligns with these trends, thereby not only protecting our national infrastructure, but also contributing to strengthening the European cyberspace. Since the, the, op, the adoption of the first information security in law, 2010, and subsequently through its cybersecurity strategy, the current being for 2022 to 2026, Montenegro has demonstrated a strong commitment to enhancing national cybersecurity capacities. The goal of this strong uh, so the, the goal of this strategy is to establish an effective and sustainable system for protect, protecting critical infrastructure and data in line with advanced international standards and practices. Additionally, cooperation with organizations such as the OSCE and NATO reflects our national commitment to integrating with international security structures. The counter-hybrid threat strategy is harmonized with EU regulation and standards. In this context, the formation of independent, uh, in the de Departmental Commission for Countering Hybrid Threats and the development of the cybersecurity strategy for the Montenegrin Armed Forces are key elements in our response to the omnipresent cyber and hybrid threats. Furthermore, Montenegro is actively engaged in cooperation with international organizations such as the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe and NATO to further enhance 
in capabilities in the field of cybersecurity. This cooperation is crucial in the context of global uh, com confrontation with cyber threats and building trust in the use of information and communication technologies. Significantly, the government of Montenegro formed the Interdepartmental Commission for Countering Hybrid Threats in 2023, tasked with the drafting the strategy the countering hybrid threats. Furthermore, the new information security law, which includes the NIS II directive, represent our national efforts to align with EU regulation. The NIS II directive, as a key element of the EU cybersecurity framework, is focused on improving the security of networks and information system within, within the EU. Its implementation, its our legislation reflects our efforts to align our cybersecurity standards with those of the U European Union, especially regarding the protection of critical infrastructure. The University of Montenegro, recognizing the importance of international cooperation in this field, has played a pivotal role in establishment the Western Balkan Cyber Capacity Center in Montenegro in partnership with France and Slovenia. This center plays, plays a key role in educating and strengthening capacities in the field of cybersecurity and cybercrime, promoting regional and international cooperation and integration on Western Balkan countries into European structures. Today's training program Cybersecurity Basic for non-technical professionals reflect this complementarity between national efforts and international standards. This program will enable particip participants to familiarize themselves with the latest cybersecurity challenges, strategies, and practices with a special focus on the EU regulatory framework, including key aspects such as the GDPR, NISTU direct Directive, and the Cybersecurity Act. Through this training, participants will not acquire technical knowledge, but also gain an understanding of strategic, legal, and regulatory aspect of cybersecurity. This not only strengths individual capacities, but also enhances institutional ability to effectively respond to cyber challenges. In conclusion, allow me to express my deepest conviction in this training and all its participants will contribute to building a stronger, safer, and more resilient digital future. This training beginning today represents a symbiosis of our national efforts and international cooperation. We are opening doors for dialogue, knowledge exchange, and experience, which are essential for building resilience to cyber threats and enhancing cyber security culture. It symbolizes our commitment to creating a more digital environment, not just for Montenegro, but for the entire region and beyond. Finally, I wish to express my gratitude to everyone who has contributed to realization of this program and wish success to all participants in this training. May, you, may your learning and work be key in strengthening our collective efforts towards a more secure and stable cyberspace. Our joint work and dedication to this mission are crucial for achieving our goals in cyberspace, both at the national and international levels. Thank you for your attention, and I wish you a productive and successful participation in this training program. Thank you.